you're watching Shaz Karaz and this is my top 3 must have character ideas for Tekken 8. Now to me, the best ideas from Tekken connect to the history from the earlier games. The golden era if you will. Because after Second 4, characters like Law and Paul became increasingly comedic, to the point they couldn't be taken seriously anymore. So, in terms of meaningful and memorable characters, here are my three roster suggestions I think fans could really get on board with. Let's go! Number 1. Brad Hawk from Namco's Street Beat'em Up Urban Rain. Yes, I already made a video suggesting this before, but let's consider bringing Brad's world into Tekken Force for Tekken 8. This could create an Urban Rain sequel of sorts. That way, other Urban Rain characters could feature as opponents with their appealingly realistic character designs. So what are you waiting for? Make it happen, Namco! Number 2. The Kid from Bruce Irwin's Ending in Tekken 2. We see this young boy watch in admiration while Bruce trains on the heavy bag. The story could be that Bruce had taken the boy under his wing and trained him up to be a great athlete. Then it could be said that the new Muay Thai fighter Fakum Ram defeats and badly injures Bruce in a match, which then serves to motivate his student to get revenge in the ring. Much like a certain Jean-Claude Van Damme movie we all know. Sand. 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 Kickboxer Number 3. Jeff Slater Seen in Tekken 4's ending, he's the reigning Valet Tudo champion that took Marduk's place after he vanished from the fighting circuit. Although Jeff gets instantly KO'd with a headbutt when he challenges Marduk, he still looks more believable as a fighter than half of the other characters in the game today. Now, while we're here, let's take a moment to listen to Marduk's bizarre voice acting from the Japanese version of Tekken 4, and compare it to what we know now. <coughs> Don't bother getting up. Don't bother getting up. Mm. <laughs> Near misses. I had a couple of other characters that didn't quite make the cut. There was Ken Mishima, aka Godhand, from the PS1 fighting game Urgeist. As the president of the Mishima Construction Company, he fights using Mishima Ryu Karate, but it's fair to say that there isn't room for yet another Mishima fighter, even though this one fires lightning blasters from his gun-like right arm. Then there was Jane, the orphaned girl Jack 2 protected in a Russian war zone. She grows up to be a scientist character that helps repair and upgrade Jack when he gets shot down by Dr. Abel's satellite. But because she had never demonstrated any type of fighting ability in any of her game appearances, she couldn't possibly be chosen. Anyway, let me know what you think about these character choices in the comments section, and suggest some other characters that you'd like to see in Tekken 8 when it finally rolls around. I'm Shaz Kraz, thanking you for watching.